Well, these days we don't go anywhere without our cell phones. Never, never, never. They track our movements and store all kinds of personal information. But are our phones spying on us? A lot of people think so. And tonight reporter John Croman verifies if that's true or false. People suspect their phones are eavesdropping on their conversations. They're getting ads popping up for things they've never searched for, but merely chatted about around their devices. If you think about it, your smartphone's almost always connected to the internet, and it's got microphones. One thing that I think a lot of consumers don't necessarily realize is that phones are really snitches in their pockets. Sean Landerman is one of the tech whizzes at Minnetonka-based Computer Forensic Services. You can be having a conversation and, and you have an application that has a microphone capability. And next thing you know, you're being advertised as to what your conversation was about. Case in point, Larry Halverson got these ads on Twitter just hours after talking about needing an oil change at Toyota and looking forward to Riverdale's new season. Viewer Mike Landberg's roommate had these ads pop up on Instagram after Mike teased him about drinking wine and having too much body hair. Earlier today, I was talking with a colleague. She came back and I loved her glasses. It happened to my colleague, Laura Stokes. She went to Warby Parker and we talked about that, but then she said at the last minute, wait, I've got a new place for you to look at. It's called Zenny. And I wrote it down old school on a piece of paper because I thought, oh, I do want to look that up later. Laura never got a chance to look for Zinni, but Zinni found her. About two to three hours later, I was on Facebook and it was uh, scrolling through my feed and there was an ad for Zenny. And I didn't even, I hadn't Googled it. I hadn't looked it up yet. And yes, Laura keeps her phone next to her computer. While your phone is always transmitting, it's always phoning home. It's always, it's always connected to the internet. But if your phone is eavesdropping on you, it's not reporting to a human, it's talking to other machines. It's an automated process. It's not someone on the other end reading it. It's, it's computers that have advanced algorithms that are deciphering what, what it means. So yes, we can verify it's happening to people. It's hard to pin down who or what's behind it. Google does use things you say to Google Assistant to route ads your way, but the company flat out denies spying. We only process speech after the hot word, OK Google, is detected. Facebook also denies eavesdropping, to wit, Facebook does not use your phone's microphone to inform ads or change what you see in news feeds. I think consumers just need to be wary of the agreements that they're entering when they're using any piece of technology. Now, if you find all of this disturbing, there are steps you can take. So it's uh, just the settings, privacy, microphone. On your iPhone, go to settings, privacy, microphone, and see which apps have access to your mic and then turn them off if you want. It's a trade-off. It's a balance between uh, personal privacy and the cool features that we get from the latest app or the latest phone. Turns out Laura had 12 apps using her microphone, but she can only guess which one is all ears. I can't say I'm not an expert in it, but I was super surprised to see that. My goodness, a little scary. Is there something you want our Verify team to check out? Send us an email to verify at khou.com. Post on our Facebook page or tweet using the hashtag khouverify.